When you say car arms, a lot of people think of small guns. But Mark Galley, you guys do more than just small guns. We do. Uh, we have a full size line uh, uh, that of pistols that are both polymer and steel frame. When you look at the car line, you can see that we do a full size uh, gun, a medium size gun, and a subcompact gun. Uh, the full size pistols actually are pretty carry friendly. Uh, most people that carry a medium size or a large frame gun will find that the, the, even the full size gun is very flat and thin. I was noticing that because these are still single stack guns. Correct. Now this is gonna hold uh, nine plus one, is uh, that right? Eight plus one. Eight plus one, single stack gun. Mm -hmm. And you're right, this is thin, it's still light, um, real slim lines to it, so this could be a carry gun. It could. If you wanted it to be. And if you, if you look at the, the pistols, you'll notice that from each size gun, there's approximately a half an inch more or less, depending on which way you're going, okay. in both uh, the grip frame and the barrel. So if you start on the smaller side, uh, the next size up will be a half inch longer either way. A half inch way. here mm -hmm. and a half inch here. That's right. And that usually translates into an extra round for each half inch. So the smaller uh, pistol will have six, where the full size will have eight. When they're to full capacity with a round in the chamber, you have seven rounds, eight rounds, and nine rounds Correct. in the gun. You know, most people, when they think of us, they think of a small pistol. So we wanted to show you uh, that we have both ends of the spectrum as well. Let's get these over to the range and shoot them. All right. I've got a, a, an MK9 Elite in uh, nine millimeter on my hip. Uh, one advantage to the steel frame guns is that they're a minimum of eight ounces heavier than the same gun in polymer. Okay. So that's a little helpful uh, to help soak up the recoil and get a faster second sight picture. But why don't you show us shooting sure. that gun and really show it, it's not that hard to shoot. Yeah, we'll get a few rounds down range here. Nice gun to carry all day long. Yeah. Now, even your big gun really isn't that big. I've got this one. This is the T9, correct? Full size gun. This is your full size gun. Still a single stack, so it's going to lay flat against your body. I like the way it feels and the way it fits, but it's going to be a little bit more shootable and hold a few more rounds of ammo. Mm -hmm. In our polymer guns, we have uh, created a, a, a line called our CW and our CM series. And what those are is they are less expensive versions of our higher end original guns in the polymer series pistols. The P series was really more of our, our medium sized gun with right. a polymer frame. The uh, PM series was our, our subcompact right. in, in the polymer frame. A lot and of people love that gun. It's the, one of our, our best sellers and uh, pretty much one of the guns that put us on the map. Uh, as far as, as the guns go, what we did was we created a value priced line in the P series and uh, one in the PM series, which is called the CM series. Okay. okay. And what those are is they're uh, slightly uh, different in terms of the manufacturing process so we can add value and deliver them to the market at a, a reduced price. Well, and, and really the changes that you make, they're still the same size gun, same, same caliber, same capacity, mm -hmm. but you've made some aesthetic changes. That's right. And, and some internal changes that really uh, let you add that value. And why don't we talk about yeah, those? Yeah, I'm going I'm to talk you through the differences. So when we look at, at the P, for example, you'll notice the difference between the two guns uh, on the more expensive gun, the P-Series gun, you'll notice that the slide is a bit more contoured and rectangular. Sure. Simple cuts yep. for, the, for the machining to make. Less machine time, less cost. The major difference between the two under the hood with both of the guns is that on the P and PM series guns, we use Lothar Walther match grade polygonal rifle barrels. And on the uh, CW and CM series guns, we use just a traditional uh, rifled barrel. And where you're going to see a, a difference in that is not necessarily accuracy, but where you will see a difference is muzzle velocity. Right. Okay. The other difference that I want to show you um, is that uh, the magazines, when you buy a uh, CW or a CM series 
gun, you get one flush fitting magazine with the gun. The P and, and PM series, which are a little bit more expensive, come with one of each. And last but two not mags. least, two mags. Last but not least, the uh, P and PM series guns come in an ABS molded lockable case. That's hard plastic case. Correct. And the uh, less expensive guns come in just a plain old cardboard box. So about 200 to $250 difference in price between the two. So whether you're wanting the original car or a value-priced car, there's something in there for your budget.